Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I've got an exciting build for you guys today. A kit that is really gone crazy online. People talking about it and super excited about it. And I'm talking about this one right here, the 124 scale Tamiya McLaren Senna. And I am not too proud to say that uh, this kit kicked my modeling butt. <laughs> and uh, I say that and I worked through it and I finished it. Um, there are a few flaws <laughs> inside, but um, I'm fairly happy with the final results on it there. And when I say it kicked my butt, is it, it's not a fault of the kit in this particular case. Everything fit the way you'd expect it to. The problem was, was me. And I don't know if you guys have ever had a kit like that where everything that you do you just screw up on and that was the way that happened with this in fact i mentioned in another video how i had built that last little part and come back to it and there was like a blob of something on it that i had to restrip the entire thing well i took a break for a few days came back to it fixed it got it looking great and that's when all the other trouble started uh clear parts and Mainly the body was where I ran into most of my troubles on it. The chassis fell together. And after I had some problems with the body, put it away and almost decided I wasn't going to finish this model. I was frustrated and that's why this video has taken me about a month to actually complete. And I put it away, came back to it just recently, finished up the chassis, which like I said, fell together like a dream. And I touched up the areas that I, I could on the body. And you'll see it, of course, at the end there. But this is something, um, and I talked throughout the video too, where I ran into some problems. Maybe help you if you decide to build this kit to uh, make it a little bit easier on yourself. But So in the comments down below, go ahead and let me have it. I, I know I've made some, some errors on that. I'm human like everybody. And uh, this is just one of those kits, like I said, kicks my butt. So put it down in the comments down there. Um, and also, tell me about some kit that j kicked your butt too. I mean, I've had them over the years where just nothing goes right. But uh, please go ahead in the comment section and put that down there. So I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I partially enjoyed making this video. I, I, I tease because it was a little frustrating for a little bit, but now that it's done, I'm, I'm happy with, uh, with the kit. So let's get started. So let's get started on putting together the main part of the body here. Uh, one thing I got to point out to you too is this little piece back here. There's a very, very thin connection point on the way this back piece is, uh, is put on there. And in fact, when I had put this back in the box after doing the review on it, I, I think I kind of shoved it in there kind of weird because I kind of flexed it and bent it too far up the other way. So what I ended up doing is I carefully pushed it back into place and laid it down flat, put some weight on it just the way it was supposed to be, and then put just a touch of, to me, extra thin cement right in the seam that you could tell it was starting to flex it. And it got it to, to revert back. And then, of course, once the cement dries, it's, it's pretty hard. Now, it's going to get covered over, so you're not going to see the two little glossy spots there anyway. But keep that in mind that if you do have a similar problem with yours, uh, the other option is, of course, if you hit it too hard, I guess you could break it off completely. So with that all fixed up, we can go ahead and start gluing in these internal structure parts. And as you can imagine, they all kind of like lock right into place. There's all pins and tabs for everything on there, including these two little radiator pieces here that are going to be glued in. And then, of course, there's a couple of the little little flare pieces. All of these are painted black. So we're going to go ahead and just install all of these inside here and get the whole thing painted as one unit. And then we can start doing all of the other parts that are painted different colors. Because this particular kit is going to be a lot of painting and building little sub-assemblies and then attaching them onto the body. Okay, I've gone ahead and attached all the little assembly pieces like the rear view mirror and all these other uh, pieces inside here and then painted the inside a semi-gloss black paint. Then after that, we've gone ahead and through the center area right here, the part that's actually going to get seen, we've gone ahead and put a coat of gloss paint on it, gloss black, and then two coats of TS-13 clear coat. 
now we can go ahead and start to assemble this little piece of here for the radiators is going to get glued into place here but the next step we actually have to paint some body panels so we're going to move this off to future Andy here I would recommend actually not painting the top of the car black uh, like I showed in the video segment it turns out it kind of interferes with putting the glass parts on and plus it's completely covered with either glass or other body parts so it doesn't matter if you just leave it the uh, the actual black color that the sprue comes the side here and I'm going to show you the first body panel that I've painted up and I know that they call out for this kind of mixture of a red orange color and I've actually seen a couple of them online and to be honest with you I'm not super crazy about it so uh, this is my car kit so I'm gonna paint it what I want and I've gone ahead and decided to go ahead and paint it with Tamiya's LP series paint and this is the mica red and it's a, a metallic red that in the sunlight, wow, it just pops. It's, it's a beautiful looking uh, red paint. So I've decided to go ahead with that. Now we've got this piece painted up as well as painted up the, the exhaust. We're using the US exhaust, which is just two tailpipes on it. And so what we need to do now is actually go ahead and assemble this. This has been painted black. And this will get dropped into place just like this and then the exhaust pipes will get glued in up from underneath there. I'm going to do all that in a minute there. Then what happens is, I painted this actually a couple hours ago and it's dry, but I'm probably going to let this dry overnight just because with the, uh, the lacquer paints, we want to make sure we have a really hard finish on that. But after that, we can go ahead and attach this red piece and then believe it or not, we're up at the stage that we start attaching the glass to the... Uh, to the actual body of this thing. It's built completely different than any other car kit I've ever done. So it's very unusual steps that we have to take. So we're gonna let this fully dry and then I'm gonna start assembling the pieces into place on it. And as you can see right here, we've attached the pipes from up underneath and then the uh, the black shroud that goes around it. And because these were all pre-painted parts that I, you know, I pre-painted them, I should say, before we put them together, I've gone ahead and used CA glue just a little bit on there. Didn't want to risk getting any of the liquid cement and ruining our uh, a nice paint job on that. jumping a little bit ahead here let me explain what I've done so far uh, I did just do a video recently where I talked about this particular piece where I had, had it painted and assembled and gloss coated and everything like that and then I accidentally spilt something on it um, don't even remember spilling anything I just came back and there was a little little blob in the uh, the paint job so I stripped it down completely refinished it reassembled it have not put the clear coat on it yet and the reason so is I'm actually kind of liking the way this looks. You might not show it up in too much on the video, but the shine is really nice. And because it's mica red that I used on this, it's got a nice little metal flake in it that you don't notice as much when you put the clear coat on. So still debating whether or not to leave it that way. As you can see, we've got some of the other panels that I've also painted and assembled slightly, but I'll explain those in a bit more. Let me show you what we have here on the actual body of the vehicle. We've got the, the two top windows put into place and then as well as the side windows are glued in there now too. And remember there are a ton of parts that are going to cover over most all of this other stuff. So let me just show you how the assembly process is going to go. So front windshield is going to go in. It does not get glued into place. Then this piece which I've painted up already will get dropped into place trying to wear a glove too on one hand just so I can uh, not put too many fingerprints on it. Hi everyone, Future Andy here. This is another one of my little mistakes that I made on this kit and when I talk about dropping that center support onto the two pieces of glass and you don't glue the two pieces of glass down, I practiced without super glue on it a couple of times and it worked. And of course the time that I put a little bit of super glue onto it and dropped that piece in, it slid it bumped the window, the top window pieces, and got a little bit of super glue across the top. So that was a lot of fun trying to take all of that super glue off the clear parts. In retrospect, I might advise that if you're going to do that, you can use some clear part cement and glue those two windows down just slightly in the corners, and they're less likely to move on you. This rear window will go into place, also not glued. And then this panel right here, this little thin one, there's one for each side. I've painted those up. Those are going to get dropped into place 
with a little bit of glue and that is supposed to basically lock all of the the glass into place up on top there um, they fit very very well but it is a very delicate little piece of uh, of plastic to try to get on there I had them sitting on there earlier and so after spending all that time stripping that stuff off and redoing it again I decided to go ahead and lightly glue those windows into place just like the side windows get glued in so I decided I'm gonna glue that top window in there you have to be very very careful there's just a little touch point here and a touch point up in the front with just the tiniest little bit of super glue just to lock the window in and then it'll save you a lot of aggravation later on and I'm actually thinking about doing the same thing with the front windshield those little tabs maybe just put a touch of super glue underneath that and hold it down just so we don't have anything shifting on us while you're trying to assemble now here is another one of the pieces that I've already assembled we painted and assembled and it's basically the other side of the vehicle and as you can see here these are gonna go on like this these little black shrouds that get put into place and then there is a piece just like that that's getting you glued in there so very very simple they're very unusual shape parts but I have to tell you the fit is exquisite on this they go right together and then once we get all those other parts on I'll kind of just show you like dry fitting all this stuff to get a feel of how this is gonna go but it's a, it's a super difficult kit no denying that but the way to me is designed it the fit is really really good on it so you can see that is just gonna lock right into place there and then that rear part that I was telling you about will just slide right into right on this back piece here and like I said just dry fitting it alone all fits very well okay so I know that was probably a little bit longer than uh, some of the other little sections we've done I am gonna go ahead and assemble up the rest of this panel right here I'm going to glue the rest of those windows down as well as this top shroud piece here and get it to that point that uh, hopefully don't mess up any of the clear parts and then we can go ahead and start installing some of these panels believe it or not this is this is what's so weird about this uh, this car is that you're building all these individual panels up and then uh, gluing them onto this this framework that they give you here so uh, very very good fit though and then one other piece I'm gonna show you that I'm also gonna glue on is this front piece here it gets glued into place right on the bottom down here there's two little pins that line up and it'll basically be this this whole bottom right just like that and here is the the upper part of the body uh, <laughs> I don't know I guess this is regular body parts considering it's all made up of all these individual pieces right here but here's what the body looks like with all of those pieces in place now uh, it was the fit was very good but there's still quite a bit of difficulty getting everything to to pop into place there and uh, but we got it on so it's 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 a done deal now with that being done now we can start on the lower chassis finally okay let's see how the uh, lower chassis is going to go together so first we're going to install the firewall here I already put a little bit of cement on there, but we want a little bit extra just to make sure everything stays on. Next up. You can see how everything fits together really well there. And then finally, just like that. So I'll get that glued into place, and then we can start building the front end with the brakes, which we've painted with our sparkling silver and blue brake calipers, as called out. And then it's just going to be a matter of gluing those into place just like that. 
Let me show you how the front suspension is all going to go together. We've got our two brake assemblies here, our two shocks, and then this bottom plate here that we've gone ahead and painted all these pieces up. This plate will get glued right into place, just like that. And then we will be able to put the brake assemblies into these two little holes here. And then from the top down, glue the shock absorbers into place. And finally, the connecting rod here will tie both the, uh, the front wheels together for steering. So I'll get those glued on right now. And then we will be able to start working on the engine. With the suspension now done on the front, we can start to glue together the pieces that make up the engine. Gone ahead and painted up a few pieces so we can start assembling the engine to the chassis. We've got the intake manifold painted up with black and silver. And of course you saw me assemble the engine here. With that being done, we can now put the drive shafts into place. They too are also black. Nice tight fit. Get the other side in there. Now, with that being done, we can, we've can we painted the bottom uh, framework here silver, as well as just the top of this, because only a little bit of it is going to get seen, mainly this cross support, so didn't have to worry about getting all these sides. They're covered up by the body. And then we can go ahead and glue the engine right into place, just like that. It'll kind of snap in there. I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes and then I'll show you how we flip this over, place that in, and then we can put the intake manifold up from the top. It actually goes over the top of these two bars here. And then finally, once that gets glued in, we can glue these side panels on that kind of, well, I'll actually show you those once we actually get the rest of this put in there. And now we can fit the top and the bottom together here. There is a little tab on either side of that chassis there. Just like that, that snaps in, and then you've got to kind of just push the engine back slightly till that clicks into place. And that locks the entire framework together here. And once that is done, we can put the intake manifold right up on top. Just like that. I should also point out to you too, I painted the engine a titanium silver as called out in the instructions. And then, like I was telling you earlier, these parts right here will get glued up on either side right into place just like that. And then I probably will go back, even though this is not going to get seen, I will go and touch up that little spot. Just looking at it is kind of bothersome. But I'll get all these glued into place, touch up those little spots, and then I'll show you the next step. And now moving along, we've built up the heat shield here and painted titanium silver and this portion of it titanium gold. It will get placed right in there, right on those two little pegs. And also, I've gone ahead and assembled the rear brakes assemblies. And this time I actually went ahead and did put a little weathering on it. A little bit of, the, to me, a black panel liner. Really makes all the little holes pop out. Now we'll be able to glue this arm into place right here just like that and then of course glue the not glue excuse me not glue the brakes into place they actually just sit in those little holes inside there so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get those on right now that'll just just take a couple of minutes to pop those into place and then as you can see I've started to cut out in sand get ready all of these parts that will go inside the uh, the drivers area so let me get those two brakes on and I'll be right back Okay, now we can glue this piece into place, just 
like that. And I guess inadvertently I called this the firewall when I was installing that earlier. I uh, think, you know, normal car has the engine in the front, firewall. This technically would be the firewall because the engine's in the back. So once we get that portion glued on, we've got this back rear window that will get mounted right into place here, just like that, and get dropped in. And then there's also this little tab, actually, that before we glue that in, we need to glue that in right there so you get the idea on those pieces and then once we get that I can let me pull these off for a minute and show you how this is gonna go on too. fit is really really nice get the right side for it first there's a tab here and a tab up front that we drop this around the brakes and then just glue that on just like that and you've got the uh, the wheel well all laid out for you so I will get that. Oh, one other quick thing too. We've also got this center console that actually goes like that and gets glued into place just like that as well. So I am going to get these uh, couple of parts glued on as well as the both wheel wells and the firewall and the window, all that stuff permanently glued into place. And I will come back and show you once we're done with that. Oh, one other thing too. I've also gone ahead and assembled the wheels and I painted the... Uh, the wheels on this particular one with the sparkling silver. I wanted the real bright wheels on it. They show it kind of on the uh, the blue car and they've got a darker one on the red car and I personally like the the bright silver wheels better so once again my car my color so I've gone ahead and assembled all of those as well. So let me get this done and I'll be right back. We've got all the panels into place now. One thing I did forget to put in was the shock absorber in the back, which I, I corrected afterward. And hopefully you can see up inside there that it's inside there. And I still have to put the other one in there, but they are able to go in with these in place. They're just a lot easier before those get put in. And here we are, guys. Here is the uh, final reveal with all of the last minute parts we put into place. As you can see here, I've gone ahead and put the side mirrors in. We have the spoiler put into place, and as well as the decal for McLaren and the uh, windshield wipers we got on there. One thing I have to point out too, if, if you notice this long curve of the, the body panel here, that is made up of five different panels and you can see how good the fit was on this kit that all five of those panels line up and you get a smooth transition between each one of them there very very nicely done by Tamiya now this is kind of like I was talking to you guys earlier almost like a tale of two kits for me because as I mentioned I kept messing this kit up when it came to the body the fit was excellent on it but a lot of times for one reason or another, it was just one of those kits, and maybe you've had them. I've had them in years past where no matter what I did, I did it wrong. And that was the body on it. Now, once I finished the body and put it away for a couple of weeks, as that's why this video has been kind of delayed in coming out, I decided to work on the chassis. And if you watch me build the chassis, uh, I had no problems at all with that. That was maybe because it cleared my head, maybe whatever it was, but after two weeks being away from it, everything kind of clicked together. So there are a, a few little flaws here and there, So, uh, but I think it's a good representation how this kit goes together. And uh, if you're looking for a challenging piece, this is uh, definitely it because there is a lot of painting and building, painting, building, painting, building type things when it comes to the body. The chassis obviously is, is a much easier concept. One thing that I messed up on the end that I didn't talk about earlier in the video was I was doing a little polishing on the car and uh, I was using a little wax and then I made the mistake and this is before I put the chassis on I made the mistake of rinsing it off with a little bit of uh, water and when I did that the inside in here a little bit of the residue soaked up in the inside here and that's why we kind of have like a little bit of a fogging right on the edge here so it's not horrible, but it's something that I immediately see as soon as I, I look at the at the car. But uh, And the same thing happened up in here in the door. So I was doing a little polishing up on the top here, and it hit inside here and inside here. So there's a possibility maybe down the road, I, I keep telling myself, maybe I might grab another one of these kits when they actually come out 
and start the body over, you know, pop the chassis out and put a new body on. But honestly, I think it came out decent enough that um, it's not my, my best work, we'll say, but uh, it looks like the uh, McLaren Senna. So happy enough with that. So that's it, guys. Um, please go ahead in the comments down below. Tell me, have you ever had one of those kits that, not the kit's fault, but everything you did in the beginning was just wrong and no matter what I kept doing it kept fighting me unusual but we did get it through uh, I wasn't gonna let that kit beat me no matter what it took uh, probably three and a half weeks and uh, we, we I got it done so <laughs> so I want to take this opportunity to thank you guys as always for watching and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming ah!